So I'm joined by Newcastle fans TV Lee. So it's finished. It's in James's Park. Newcastle United nil. Tottenham two. John Josh Hervey, what was he thinking? Let's he's just start a, off. He's a fucking dickhead. He is. Sorry to swear, like, but um, I think we could have got something from that game, even even if it's just a point. But you know, Shelby goes and just what does he do? Just casually stands on him, but he's sticking the heat. I mean, he's he's a captain. He's not leading by example, and yes, he's come out and apologised, but it's not enough. He's just cost where. The end, of this, the end of the season, right, I know this is the bigger picture, but if we need that one point to stay up, that's going to be one of the positions that we're going to be looking back at uh, to do, but it's, 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 it's frustrating, like. I think, you know, going into the game as well, you look at the first half, Newcastle United done all the hard work, you know, we were in the game, you know, we were more than holding our own, I mean, Shelby was being a leader at the time, you know, he was making tackles, he was driving forward, we didn't create as much as, as Tottenham did, because Tottenham did have all their possession. Now, let, let's talk about the first half, so obviously Newcastle, you know, more than whole held their own against Tottenham, you know, we're playing a team here that finished second last season in the league, you know, they've got quality all over the pitch. Uh, Tottenham were having the possession, but they weren't really doing much with it, a bit like Newcastle, you know, we were just lumping balls up to Dwight Gale, Dwight Gale wasn't really getting the service. It might have been an ideal game for Mitrovic. You all, you all know my thoughts on Mitrovic, but it would have been an ideal game for him. Yeah, the way we played. I think, yeah, first half we're in it. I think they dominated the possession, but they weren't doing any. Had a couple of Eriks and long shots, but weren't really testing Elliot. And then the whole game changed for me. Is yes, Spurs were dominant, but Shelby, the Shelby, the game. It was frustrating because even without Shelby, Newcastle was sitting so so deep and hit me on the counter. And I thought Atta was fantastic. However, you know. Um, Spurs dominant, I think Dembele was absolutely outstanding, he was just passing the ball and even before Shelby got sent off, Shelby was a passenger, you, you just didn't see him and that's because we're playing against big, big top opposition, we're nowhere near and obviously we've just been promoted which is which is understandable but the, then the first goal went in and Newcastle had to come out and leave some space in behind and Spurs got that second goal, probably Elliot should have done better and the defenders all over but however, uh, Spurs deserved the win. So. Just before that, before half time, there was a, a thing where Harry Kane uh, was a judge to have fouled Lejeune, and, yeah. he, and, and, the, and obviously I haven't seen the replay. But should Harry Kane have been sent off? I didn't think so. I think because I remember picking him up on the on the near halfway line, then he tried to put you past the ball forward about well, five yards, knocked the ball forward. And then it was obviously sprint between him and Lejeune, and I think he, he sides. I think goes in the side. I don't think it's a red mind. Um, judging from where I am, straight ahead of him in the Gallagher. But obviously I haven't got the benefit of replays. So obviously, looking at the game as well, Newcastle have lost two centre halves. Haven't they? You know, they've, they've lost them. We've now lost Lejean And uh, what, what do we do now? Well, we've got to find out how, how serious they are first. And if they're not serious, then great. But I think and Ben back coming in is like for like. So I think, however, the left back will be a problem because allegedly we're meant to be getting rid of Hydara and Lazar hasn't begun of a shirt number. So if that one's a bit more serious, that's a bit worrying. But we'll have to find out in the next 48 hours. And uh, again, we're still in the transfer market, we're still going to need a few extra bodies in it. It's plain to say, isn't it? Yeah, I think we need a striker, didn't we? Um, it's judging by that, I mean, you look at Gale and he didn't bring Mitrich on today, which is, which is frustrating because you would have liked to see two up top of going but goal behind, but you've got to have that goal scorer because Gale's so, so, a bit like glass, isn't he, so to speak? Yeah, he's a bit, he, was, he was a bit weak today, I thought, but again, that's probably not his fault. I think it's because service, we're, we're passengers aren't Where really was Matt Ritchie today? Matt Ritchie looked lost. I mean, the whole team looked lost, but then again, I think that's the sign of it's, yeah. the, it's the first, the it's first the game. Isn't it? It's the opposition rather than the individuals. And when you know we're playing Huddersfield, complete different kettle of fish, which expect Newcastle to have a little bit more. I know they've got a great result next week against Huddersfield, but expect Newcastle to have more of the ball and more do more damage. I mean, obviously Huddersfield again touched upon them. Obviously they won three 0 away to Crystal Palace. So again, they're not going to be an easy team to play. Despite coming up with us, they're looking very yeah. good, aren't they? You look at the Premier League results all over the weekend. There's been some freak results, and you'll, you get that one. You get that one every weekend. Um, but going into the Huddersfield game, I expect Newcastle to get a result out of that one. Yeah, thank you very much. Joe you. So Newcastle 0, Tottenham two, and we're joined by Matty. So again, it was a game of two halves. Newcastle were decent in the first half. They were more than holding their own in the game. And then obviously um, sending off a George Rush Shelby second half more than changed it and Tottenham in the end deserved that 2 0 win. So just sum up the game, especially the first half. First half, I thought it was pretty even to be honest, you know. I think the match for them in terms of like the chances, but Tottenham had all the ball. You know, it was just a case of trying to defend, get through half time at nil nil and you know, try and push on from there. But obviously we all know what happened in the second half, it's not quite top. Right, so it's finished at St James's Park, Newcastle United nil, Tottenham half square two, Rob full of that second half, what's the game was it? Disappointing. I mean, Shelby getting sent off was that was pretty much it for them. But unfortunately, we just they, they're already a better team and having a man down, but they did a lot of defending and just yeah, they had all the ball, so we needed to.
try and get a counter attack and it never happened. And then as it got on and on, they scored another what got goal. So. Yeah, again, just sit back in the second half. We know we didn't really uh, help ourselves once we went down to 10 men. But again, we're going to have to learn this in the Premier League, you know, not to do silly things like John Joe Shelby's done. Yes, there's an argument that Harry Kane should be sent off, but yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. And uh, we're now moving on to Huddersfield on um, a week from now. So, again, it's just one of the things that have happened. And uh, bad result in the office, but we'll move on.